Okay, so I decided that I am going to start recording videos of the animals that I catch. Um, but I noticed that some of you maybe don't know why I am posting pictures of so many reptiles and amphibians. Uh, so I go to school at Henderson State University and I study wildlife and field biology and geography. So I take a class called herpetology, which is the study of amphibians and reptiles. And aside from my normal classwork, one of my responsibilities for that class is collecting amphibians and reptiles and identifying them. I then collect that data and I put it together and I send it to Game and Fish where they can study species distributions and uh, things like that and see what could potentially be a species of special concern, where they're moving, all that fun stuff. I have two different animals to show you today. Uh, they're both turtles. The first one is going to be a red-eared slider. And this one is a juvenile, so it is young, uh, but they get pretty big. So the main distinct feature of a red-eared slider is going to be that red line on the side of its head. Um, aside from that, if you take a look at the carapace, it's uh, patterned. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's kind of like a variation of swirls. Um, aside from the carapace, if you take a look at the plash drawn in here, it is yellow with a few black markings that are pretty circular, and that does vary within the species, so they do not all have markings that look exactly like that. I do have an example to show you as well. Um, this is just a second red-eared slider, an exact same species. They're found on the same day in the same location, however, they do have some variation in their markings. I mean, you can tell the carapace of this one um, has more broader, darker lines, this one not so much. And that's just to show you how they vary. So these turtles um, are pretty common in Arkansas. Uh, their preferred habitat, however, is actually <clears throat> like shallow, calm water uh, where there's a lot of aquatic vegetation um, and where there's a soft uh, bottom for them to walk along, um, eat from, and where there's room for them to be basking. For conservation status, <clears throat> there's really not any kind of uh, special concern or anything for this species. However, uh, with international pet trade, uh, we could see that in the future, but uh, for now, we're good. So the next animal I have to show you is a stink pot turtle. This is also a juvenile. Um, these actually do not get very large. They'll maybe get the length of my hand at largest. The main distinct feature on this one is going to be those three pale longitudinal lines on its head. Not sure if you can actually see that very well. <clears throat> so these, um, their uh, carapace up here can actually vary. So some can be smooth, others can be keeled, um, meaning if you look at this up here, you can tell that that is not, let me change this, that is not entirely smooth. It's almost like it has small spikes. And that does change within the species their general habitat where they like to be is still sluggish water. Um, they'll be in ditches, they'll be in ponds, they'll be found in lakes, streams. As long as there's still water, um, you can probably find them there. They have a pretty even distribution throughout Arkansas as well. Their conservation status, there's not really one. Um, just because it is a common turtle, there's not much of um, a need for pet trade or anything for these animals. So those are the animals that I have for you today. Um, I'm constantly getting more. I do go out and collect multiple times a week, and so I'll just start making videos, uh, maybe a regular thing. I'm not entirely sure how long I'm going to continue to do it. Um, since my class is over at the end of April, I may continue this just as a hobby, or I could start with another class if I have to collect an ID um, then as well. But um, if you guys have any feedback, anything specifically that you're very interested in, um, it doesn't have to be herpetology. It doesn't have to just be... Um, amphibians or reptiles, if there's anything I can answer or just kind of give information on, uh, let me know. I'll try to maybe make a video about it if I can collect it and find it. <laughs> just, uh, I don't know, let me know. Give me something to do while social distancing, please. <laughs>